Hey guys, so I'm here doing a video today on the handbags that I'm going to be selling out of my closet and I honestly feel like you guys are the best people to sell to just because I know they're going to go to a good home and a lot of you guys have the same similar taste as me and I know a lot of you guys are interested in all four of these bags that I'm going to be talking about. Now I'm going to do everything through PayPal, friends and family. I'll have fixed prices in the description box below. I'm going to try to show you guys as much detail as I possibly Possibly can in this video and I will also to happily send out any photos or answer any questions that you guys want answered through email and I do feel like email is just a little bit more reliable than DMs through Instagram I feel like sometimes you guys write in my pictures like I DM to you and then I can't find the DM so if you guys want to DM me that's fine too but email I think is just a little bit more reliable so I will have my email in the description box and then the prices like I said and I'm going to be giving you guys as much detail as I possibly can about these bags. All of these bags are still bags that I really 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 love. I just feel like recently I've been having way too much coming in and not enough going out. You guys know I'm really big on purging and I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like keeping too many things especially if they're not being used and all these bags are so beautiful and I'm really obsessed with them so I'm just gonna go ahead and start and the first bag I wanted to share with you guys that I'm selling is this beautiful vintage red quilted leather bag. Now this is a bag, I think it's from the 80s, I could be wrong, but it's from when Nordstrom's carried their own line of handbags. And you could see the old Nordstrom's tag in there. And it is like the most gorgeous red color ever. And the leather feels like butter. The chain is like the coolest, like buttery gold, heavy, really nice, thin, dainty chain. Like this is really cute for an evening out. I just have too many red bags and honestly I've only used this bag a couple times, but when I did I really really loved it. So the room in here is great. So you can fit pretty much your daily essentials and probably a little bit more. Just being that the shape is more narrow, I don't think you could fit too, too much. So it has a back zipper pocket here. It has another section. So here's the zipper, another section, a center zipper section, and then just a main sort of compartment. There is hardly any wear on this bag at all. I'm gonna give you sort of a front overview of the bag. And you could see like the corners, there's maybe a little bit of, you know, color transfer on the corners. You could see it's like hardly, hardly any, any damage. There's a little bit, if anything, you're just seeing like damage on the corners and there's a little bit of like a scratch here. It's like, you know, Chanel, like lambskin. That's how soft it is. It feels so, 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 so good. And then here is the back of the bag. It does have a little bit of like an indentation. And then the inside here, you could see there's a little bit of like a pen mark at the top there. And it's, a t these chains are attached by these here. This says it was made in Hong Kong. I think that's so cool. Anyways, it's great. You can actually stuff the chain in the bag and just wear it as a clutch. It's just a really cute vintage little bag. So that's what it looks like with the chain in it. You can't even tell that there's, you know, a chain that comes on the bag, which I really love for like clutches and stuff like that when you can't really see it. Oh, it's just so nice. It is such a nice feeling bag. It's just really, really soft and pretty. Next up is another flat bag that Ugh, this is just so difficult for me. Each one of these bags, I'm just like, wait, do I want to sell it? I don't know. Okay, so anyways, so it is the Marc Jacobs quilted flat bag in the blushy nude color. It's a very slight blush color. Like, I'm not too big on, like, pink bags. So it is more taupey nude than blush, but it's still such a phenomenal color. This is in really, really good condition. I'll show you guys where there's wear. It's just a shoulder bag, just so you do know. So you can pop it on like this and it has a really comfortable leather strap up at the top of the chain. I love that it has a brushed gold, like chunky chain. That's actually not that brushed. It's kind of shiny, but it's like a darker gold. It's really nice. Um, but what is cool because of these like larger, I don't know, D rings on here, if you wanted to add a crossbody strap, you could, and it'll look really cool just having this hanging. Like if you wanted to buy an HRH collection Privé bag chain, I love her bag chains. I'm, I'm really gonna, probably gonna take the plunge and buy a couple. 
you could do that or even just getting like a cute top handle from her on this bag that would look really cool i love when other chains are hanging in that fact of it being a flat bag and already has a chain i think that could look really really cool so the bag features this cute little I don't know this was like his signature these are so hard to find on the pre-love market in really good condition for a decent price point just so you guys know it was not easy for me to find this at a good price um and if i found it for cheaper than what i got this for it was thrashed like really gross and not cute so just keep that in mind it was it was really hard for me to find this and the condition is great Here's the inside of the flap. It is a snap closure. This sort of has the same layout as the vintage red bag. It has the zipper closure back here, um, you know, the small little zipper po pocket, and it, everything is like a, a light gray linen, and it's so clean. Like, it's super duper duper clean. This still has, oh my god, I just noticed. So the zipper pull on this back thing still has the plastic cover on the zipper this bag was kept really really well i've only worn it a couple times and i'll talk to you guys why i'm you know i haven't really worn it that much in a second and then you have another center zipper pocket here does this have the oh my god this has a plastic on it still too you could see it there um and inside the zipper pocket it took a really good roomy bag this is more narrow so again you can't stuff it to death but because it's more of like a softer mushy leather you could you know manipulate it with you know maybe chunkier items i had a hair tie still in there sorry about that and then there's a front pocket here that's a little bit more narrow perfect for like your cell phone your card case whatever you want to grab um quickly so you could see how clean and impeccable this bag was kept on the inside um, so the only real wear on this bag maybe is the corners, but I'm gonna first show you guys the front of the bag Still looks amazing And then you could see the chain the chain is in Im impeccable uh, condition So you could see that Sorry, I'm like trying to see if it's focused. So I'm like getting distracted by my own face and then here is the back of the bag I don't want to go too close because then you can't see the whole thing but you could see it pretty pretty well so here are the corners you could see it's like minor very very minor here's the other corner on that side you can see that and then here is the other side this corner is fine and then this side with the corner so it's like really really minimal damage on this bag it's in overall i think really good condition still again such a comfortable amazing bag i ugh, god this is this one is really hard for me to let go just because i don't have any flap nude bags but here's the thing when it comes to nude bags i realized the silhouette is everything you guys knew this was kind of like a test dummy for me to sort of see if i was gonna buy the gucci taupe marmot flat bag and good thing i didn't and i sort of just use this as a test dummy this style in this color is not my personal style so the teddy blake eva bag that i have in that taupey beautiful nude color is going to be one i reach for way more than this it's a little bit edgier it's boxier you can put it on the crook of your arm i do think with an hrh little like privé chain sort sort of short shorter strap on here couldn't edge this up a lot so if your style is similar to mine then you'll know what i'm talking about but if you're just looking for a really nice nude sort of beigey colored flap bag that's really good quality you know for this season just because it's the perfect season to jump on bags this color i personally think this is an amazing bag so and this isn't like mark by mark jacobs which is his line that's like a little bit cheaper than his you know mark jacobs line this is a full-blown mark jacobs bag so this was pricey for a back in the day when these were really really popular he just stopped making these i don't even know if he has like a full-blown mark jacobs line anymore i know he still has mark by mark I could be wrong maybe you guys know let me know in the comments but anyways i'm really really in love with this bag so this is a little bit difficult and i really haven't touched these bags that much recently until you know right now when i pulled them out of my closet to share with you guys so me touching these bags again i'm like uh it's giving me a little bit of anxiety but i love you guys and i know you guys will appreciate these bags as much as i did okay so next up i know there are a ton of you guys that have dm'd me in the past when i first showed you guys this bag please let me know if you're gonna sell it you cannot find it anywhere it's 
really really difficult to find and honestly I can't find any of those dms anymore i went back as far as like two months ago and then it sort of just stopped and it's really really difficult to find old dms but i know a lot of you guys are interested in this handbag and i'm still this one i'm having this one and the next one that i'm going to share with you guys i'm having probably the most anxiety selling but um like I said, I love you guys. So <laughs> this is the Tommy Hilfiger and Gigi Hadid box bag. God, this bag is so effing cute. I love it with the charm. It's in impeccable condition. The only thing I have to say is that it kind of like has like these weird indentations which go away once you actually put stuff in here. It's just because there's nothing in this bag, but it's impeccable, impeccable condition. There's, there's nothing to show you really as far as where, but I'll show you guys details in a second it fits so so much and it's a really popular style right now and i do think that this style is going to have longevity just because it's a classic silhouette and it's just really really cool so one of my favorite ways of wearing it was either by just the top handle or actually removing this adjustable strap and putting on one of my guitar straps or changing out the straps you can even again do a chain long strap on here it could look really cool um, this fabric Anytime that I would look up the details of this bag in particular, it wouldn't state fully if it was leather, but I know leather is on here. I don't know if it's just the handle or just the strap here or if it's the piping on the bag or if the whole bag is leather. I couldn't really figure it out, but this reminds me of the texture maybe in a little bit of a different like shape texture. It kind of reminds me of canvas, like coated canvas, um, or maybe like epi leather, but it's still really like soft and pliable, but then you still feel like it's super carefree, like you could just wipe it clean if something happens to it. This bag has that really cute Gigi little emblem and Tommy Hilfiger emblem, and I love, love the little star details on the bag. And then it also comes with, which I think is really cute, this little bag charm that has, I don't know how to explain it, like, you know, the little Fendi key ring type of bag charm. I really like it on the bag. I kept it on there. I think it looks really cool. So it does have two zippers and it zips all the way down, but nothing's going to fall out. It has like the accordion sides. Inside it's lined with this really, really cute Gigi fabric and it has a really cute nice zipper pocket back here it's just in impeccable condition like it's super super clean my favorite thing about this bag was the features here and i would keep this bag just so you guys could sort of see what i did i would keep it sort of open like this and i would keep my cell phone like in one of these pockets so that when i was carrying it like this on the crook of my arm i could just reach for my cell phone and it was like the most convenient bag ever now i have a confession i do have a designer handbag on the way to me from vestier collective so i do feel like and it's it's not similar but it's kind of the same being that it's like a square shape in black and it's leather i feel like i'm gonna end up grabbing that one more than this one and again i really haven't reached for this in, a, in quite some time i honestly i've been living living in my uh louis vuitton backpack or i'd swap it out for again the Gigi Marmont mini bag. It just really sort of depends. I, I'm such a weird person and like creature of habit. I don't know what's going on with me, but whenever I use this bag, it was amazing. I've used it probably like 10 times and it still looks impeccable. So I absolutely love it. It does have four feet on the bottom and you could see the corners. There is n virtually like nothing on the corners to really show you as far as where. So this one I know there's going to be probably a lot of you guys um, messaging me for, which is going to be fine. Honestly, I'm going to do first come first serve. I This one I've gotten so many offers for. So hopefully one of you guys that have DM'd me in the past sees this video and ends up getting it because I, I feel like I really did try to find you guys on my DM list on my Instagram. So I'm not trying to be like unfair or anything like that. I really tried to find you guys before I actually made this video, but absolutely adore this bag and whoever gets it is going to be very very happy it's super functional so this next bag you guys are going to be like oh my god i cannot believe it okay so it has sentimental value that no longer serves me 
So if you follow me on social media, you probably already know that I'm no longer in that past relationship that you guys were, you know, sort of knew me in and this person gave me this bag and not that I don't love the bag. That's why I have anxiety selling it because I love the bag. Um, it's just the memory behind it. It's just something that no longer serves me, but I do want to replace this bag. Maybe I don't think I'm ever going to find this color combination ever again, you know, something close or something similar. Uh, I will more than likely end up replacing it. And it is the <laughs> Balenciaga town um, in the giant rose gold hardware. And this bag is so freaking stunning. The colorway of this bag, this is what's killing me. It's just like, are you ever going to find this again? Probably not. And this this gray is just so absolutely stunning. You could see this bag has already gotten the Balenciaga slouch to it. And I love the rose gold hardware. There's probably a lot more, I would say, like usage love to this bag that I'm going to try to give you guys as much detail as I possibly can, just because it is going to be the most probably expensive one that I'm selling to you guys. We ended up finding this on luxury gar garage sale. So it, it does come with the paperwork from luxury garage sale and their little tag and all of that. So you guys will get that inside the bag. It didn't have a dust bag. So I'm going to try to find like maybe one of my older dust bags from something else to put the bag in, or maybe I can find one at work or something like that. And it still has, you know, the mirror. I just don't have the little strappy thing attached to it. So most people leave it attached to this and then keep it in the pocket. I don't have it attached to that. I found that string annoying, but it does still come with the mirror. And this pocket on the towns is pretty deep. Like if you have a regular six, I believe it fits in here. Um, iPhone that is, um, I believe it fits in there fine, but I would have my cell phone just like sticking up from the top and it fit great. The inside is really good. There's no rips or tears or anything like that. And it probably still has a little bit of lint, but it's just like a black fabric. I see a penny lane dog hair in there. Oh no, that's not a dog hair. Sorry. That's a piece of string. Um, and that's the inside. So this features, you know, the back zipper pocket and it has the serial code and all of that on the back of this label. And then the two little, you know, front pockets or little side pockets that most handbags have on the inside. And then it has the zipper, both zipper poles and they work both beautifully. So that's the overall details about this bag. Now I'm going to go into sort of the wear and tear. I'm not 100% sure what year this is from. It actually might be on that card. I have to like double check and see. The most wear you're going to see on pretty much any Balenciaga bag, I've said this before, or any motorcycle Balenciaga bag is going to be the whip stitch. So you could see how the whip stitch on the handle is worn, but it's not fraying. I've seen some that have completely frayed off of the handle and People get it replaced or, you know, get it fixed or whatever, but this is not at that point. It was probably because they did it with like a lighter color fabric, so it is showing, you know, a little bit more wear. What else? So besides the Balenciaga natural slouch that you're going to get, I'm trying to really, really see. I mean, some of the hardware is definitely oxidized. You could see how this is a little bit more of a black than this. You have some strings, you know, popping out of here. I'm trying to be as honest as, I po honest as I possibly can with you guys. And like I said, I'll send more pictures if you need me to. Here is the corner. The leather just looks like the classic motorcycle Balenciaga leather, what it does when it ages. So you could see it has like very you know, wrinkled area areas and not so wrinkled areas. Um, maybe a little bit dry of dryness on the leather here. I don't know if the camera's picking up. And then here is the other corners on the other side. The hardware overall, I think, is doing really, really well. Uh, you could see there's a little bit of scuffing on the little buckles. Naturally, I think these are just gonna bump and rub against certain things. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just pretty much sell it for what I know we got it for. And I know it's a really rare color and I'm just, I'm having such a hard time doing this. Oh my gosh, did not realize how hard this was gonna be. But not for the sentimental value, but just to make that clear. Um, and then this is a little bit like, 
could see maybe a little bit more scuffed that. I love the shape and silhouette of the town bag. It's narrow, it's not so big. You could take the strap off and just carry it on the crook of your arm. And it's like a really good size for like an evening or like just like trying to be cute without being like too casual. Another thing is that this strap is adjustable. Not all town bags have an adjustable strap, but I will say it is extremely 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 long still on the shortest one i'm 5'7 it hangs like below my hip the top of the bag so just pre-warned you might need to you know get holes punched or get it shortened at a you know a trustworthy like shoe repair person or again you could replace the strap with any cool fun fun funky strap i, I did that when i wore this bag i wore it I want to say a total of seven times and I loved it every time that I wore it. I didn't have it very long until I decided, mm, you know, not for me anymore. But yeah, I'm letting this beautiful, beautiful bag go. The color, the gray color is Grease, Gris. I, f I forget the exact name of the gray, but the, lo the rose gold hardware is super cool. It has more of like a tarnished like effect or look. I honestly feel like that, that's kind of like how it came. But there are some parts that are oxidized, you know, from age. And you'll see that a little bit more closely. But it's just a really, really cool, good, everyday, awesome color, goes with everything, bag. Classic. Forever. I don't care what anyone says. So definitely love this one. Definitely probably the hardest one to let go. That is it, you guys. Those are the four handbags that I'm selling out of my closet email me if you have any questions or if you want me to send you more detailed pictures. Like I said, I'll have all the fixed prices in the description box below. So I hope some of you guys are excited about this. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done it on YouTube. Anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.